Okay, uh, I am Melvin Lee. Uh, I call myself, I consider myself a theater artist. Well, I'm into uh, management side, creative side. So when you create, meaning creative, meaning uh, either an, as an actor or as a director, and then also a teacher. Siguro yung mga memorable sa akin, uh, uh, una yung kung paano ko pinatay si Diana Ross by Roddy Vera, directed by Mother Soxie Topacio. So I played Diana Ross, uh, that's one. Uh, also memorable eh, as an actor is uh, uh, The Maids, uh, uh, translated by Roddy Vera again, directed by Ross Tumbarucha. Here in the theater center, memorable siguro yung uh, Romulus the Great. Uh, uh, directed by Maribel Legarda. And then also here is, of course, Care Divas. No? So, yun yung mga memorable productions as far as acting is, as acting is concerned. So, directing naman, siguro, of course, memorable yung very first. Uh, major, first major production. Uh, yung Ang Dalawang Buhay ni Plaridel, written by Nicolas Pichai. And then Agnoya written by Lisa Magtoto. Both productions were done, mounted at the Raja Leman Theater. Marami kasi dun sa mga as directorial assignments ko are, are called applied theater, meaning a theater with a certain advocacy, like uh, yung uh, Padayon, uh, a play about uh, advocating uh, Disaster Risk Reduction. And then, yung pinaka-latest, yung Night Mother, which was done here with, uh, with uh, Sherry Lara and Eugene Domingo. Uh, tackling uh, tackling uh, mental health naman. So, yun. So, yung medyo yung mga track lately is towards applied theater. I started doing theater uh, uh, 1982. I was... Uh, Everything was never planned. I was just invited by a classmate of mine in uh, Ramon Magsaysay High School, Spania. Her name is Angie Cantero Castrense, who was already a member of the P Metropolitan Teen Theater League of PETA or the youth arm of PETA. So she invited me to be, just be involved in a production. I never, I never thought of doing theater. I was... Uh, uh, it was never my plan. It was never. It was never a dream. It just happened. Everything just happened. I went to the first meeting or assembly of of the Metropolitan Teen Theater League. Naalala ko pa noon, It was. It was. Uh, the meeting was held at dito sa may yung heritage tawag dito um, gallery. No, owned by Tita Odette Alcantara na sumalangit na wa. Then, dun, well, I attended that meeting and then I was, I was, yun pala, yun na yung parang a general assembly meeting ng mga bagong, bagong recruit na mga kabataan. No? I was only 16 years old. During that time, they needed a lot of new newbies, new, new people, new batch of people because they were mounting a play called Samperang Muta Directed by uh, directed by Ses Mangay Quesada and written by Rene Villanueva. So this is an original youth-oriented play with music. Tapos, musical director composer non was Chino Toledo. Tapos, ang ang style niya uh, live live instrumentation pero using junk materials. Ako ay nasign. Ito yung unang-unang assignment ko sa theater sa Samperang Muta. Yung ako ay na-assign sa wind section. Sa so, pamamagitan ng bote. No? So, <laughs> meron akong hawak na boteng. Ang assignment ko, puro mga bote ng coke na iba-iba ang mga quantity ng tubig para iba-iba yung, to, iba -iba yung tono. So, yun yung aking, aking instrument. So, yun yung unang-una kong sabak sa theater. After that production, Done at the Raja Salaiman Theater again, 1982 yon. Sumabak na kami, di mga bago kaming mga miyembro ng MTTL. So sumab sinabak kami sa uh, intensive summer workshop. Na ang facilitators namin noon was Tata Nanding Josef and Desa Quesada Palm. Tapos ang kauna-unahan kong production na pagtawid sa kalinangan, meaning nandoon ka na sa adult 
na na or mainstream na, na company unit ng repertory company ng PETA yung Kalinagan Ansam was my first production was Nuclear 2 it's a dance drama obviously a play against the nuclear power plant na itinatayo itinayo sa bataan morong bataan so yun 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 yung Unang-una kong production sa Kalinangan ng Santo. Tapos nagsimula, tuloy-tuloy na rin, uh, ang mga una kong mga involvement sa Kalinangan, aside from being a performer, the stage manager, naging production manager, tuloy-tuloy na rin yun. Minsan, mapapaarte ka pa, paminsan-minsan, ganyan-ganyan. Doon sa mga karanasan na yun, yun din yung baon-baon mo pag nagtuturo ka, yun din ang baon-baon mo pag gumagawa ka ng production, whether regardless of your uh, of your task in the production whether as an actor or a director yun, yun, yun. so lahat yun ano nag one way or the other nagko-contribute sa pag-shape na kung sino ka bilang tao bilang artists ganun so yan lahat yun daladala mo because you allow you subject yourself to a very to uh, always to a new new at atmosphere or new new uh uh, platform for learning and discovery. Lalo kang na, nagiging nare-ready, na, lalo kang na, nagiging naihahanda sa mga future challenges na kakaharapin mo uh, dahil yung trabaho ay punong-puno yan ng mga challenges, punong-puno yan ng mga uh, doubts, punong-puno yan ng mga uh, questions at nahahanap mo rin yung kasagutan at mga ano na yon ako confront mo yung mga yung mga insecurities na yon along the way no? and because of that process or because of you you subject you subject yourself na maging part ng process na yon then that's where you grow as an artist and end as a person sabi nga ni Tito Ernie pag pumasok ka ng uh, pumasok ka ng peta para kang pum, para kang nasa kumunoy na hindi mo na mamalayan Pa, palubog ka pala ng palubog in a good way or depende sa'yo kung good way or bad way how depende sa perspective mo pero yun na nga yung, yung involvement sa PETA kasi mas habang tumatagal ka lalo yan, lalo yan palalim ng palalim at habang palalim ng palalim ay di lalong nagiging na-intensify din yung passion mo about the work the art I still do the things that I do because I saw the power of theater to me as an individual and to the audiences and the participants that we have offered or showed our work. If your art is, is of value to other people, then I think you're on the right track. 